as far as how all my problems started, uh, what I dealt with mainly was eczema. Um, that was pretty much eczema, allergies, asthma. That was something that I've kind of had problems with my entire life. It wasn't something that I ever received any uh, information on that I could improve with diet. I never, my, my mom was a nurse when I was growing up. Um, she never really practiced much. Uh, she was a stay-at-home mom as I was uh, as I was being raised. But her opinions have changed on a lot of this stuff uh, because she's very medical-minded back when I was, you know, when you're the firstborn, you're kind of the guinea pig. I, I had been diagnosed with asthma when I was about five years old, and I pretty much had that my entire life. And pretty much just very high levels of allergies uh, that I had dealt with really, uh, again, since I was about five years old, um, and they were very severe at times. Uh, my brother's got it even worse than I do. He's actually had a lung collapse on him. Um, mm. But I was I was kind of close to that when I was younger, but I've grown out of it a little bit. I still struggled with it as I, was, as I uh, got older. Uh, and when I got into chiropractic school, that's when all these newer problems started showing up, like eczema, uh, I had little bouts with it, but it wasn't anything severe like it had turned into um, this this past March. It, it got pretty severe. Um, uh, pretty much that's that's kind of my that's that's what I dealt with for the entirety of, of my life. And then uh, I was able to find the carnivore diet. Uh, and I was able to kind of turn things around. Interesting. A lot of, you know, there's a lot of kids that, you know, they grow up and they're always kind of rashy. Like you have babies that are just real rashy babies, you know, and it's just right. kind of like if, if it's just something that about them or something in their environment that they're exposed to probably right. uh, that lead to that. And then, you know, there's all these associated things with it. You know, often asthma and eczema often go together. They're both considered autoimmune conditions, which Right. Uh, a lot of people would be surprised to find out. I was when I first found that out. Even as a physician, I didn't realize asthma was autoimmune, but I, I'm Same. subsequently Same, find man. It. I Same, was. I had no idea it was autoimmune. What, uh, you know, in chiropractic education, are they, I mean, <laughs> is something, is asthma and eczema something on the on the curriculum that you deal with much? Because I mean, obviously most people uh, are familiar yes. with the musculoskeletal. Yeah, we, yeah. we had a lot of immunology, lots of pathology. Um, it's about... It's about a four-year degree. Really, you go through pretty much the regimen of uh, of medical school without the pharmacology. Mm -hmm. um, so your hours are kind of similar in that sense, but you don't have the residency or the the pharmacology that you go through mm -hmm. when you have a, uh, a medical degree. So we still we went through a lot of that stuff. You know, you kind of go through the motions when you learn that. You try to test to get done with it. But I've learned a lot more as you know as I've gotten out of school and kind of applied it to myself. I, so through chiropractic school, I kind of found out if I fasted that my eczema would go away. And that was always a really good temporary, a temporary fix, but it got to the point where I was so skinny and I almost looked malnourished because I had fasted so much. My eczema was gone, but I felt like absolute garbage. So uh, that led to some pretty bad circulation problems down in my feet. I got to the point where my feet were just always cold. I mean, I lived, I had lived in Georgia for five years. It never got cold there, uh, or it, it hardly gets cold compared to Ohio, but my feet were always freezing. So I, and they were turning purple. So I, I never knew, I never put that together as being like a circulation issue that I could fix uh, with diet. But after being on carnivore for, I think it was probably a month, maybe two months, I noticed like, man, I just feel really warm. My feet don't get cold like they did. They're not numb. I'm trying to think of some other stuff. There was like other abstract things that I noticed too. I never really had digestive problems, but I did it mainly for the skin problems. So, I mean, are you from, I guess, life chiropractic school? Were you familiar with that? That's, is that where you went or is that where? So there's two, there's two lives. Uh, there's one out in uh, California mm -hmm. um, that's Life West. And then there's Life University down in Georgia. So that's where I was at. Yeah, I'm familiar. When I used to play rugby, I remember life had a scholarship. A scholarship. They had quite yeah, a good, quite man, a good they got a killer rugby a team. A good rugby team. I remember back from the days I played, we would play. A lot of my friends that played were, were actually chiropractors. Um, how yeah. bad was the eczema? I mean, did you have like broken skin, bleeding? Or I mean, how, how bad did it, did it get for you? I'll see if I can actually. So am I able to pull a picture up on this? That was at its most severe. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
it that so i had found the carnivore diet uh like a lot of people through the kind of the saladino method i got to give him a little bit of credit but this was after one month of doing that it was not that bad uh and then i i think the fruit the the fructose that i was taking in and then the fiber as well it was just it was feeding that bacterial overgrowth yeah. that i had going on yeah. um this had all started to uh you know it, it was always on my fingers growing up but it, it never got to the point where it it got up onto my arms or anything like that so it was on my arms on my neck so this was uh, so the timing of this was this is prior to any sort of dietary adjustments is this the, this was after so the when, when i took this picture this was after one month of doing the meat and fruit oh the fruit which, version okay. okay yes yeah the <laughs> the fruity version right uh, okay and so i ended up uh i ended up I, I was like man why the heck is this getting worse i couldn't you know i i was experimenting at that time with just cutting everything out i yeah. think i had i had just done like apples and bananas okay. but um was yeah, that was, was that was that painful for you? It looks painful. Yeah, it was at the point where I like I couldn't sleep at night. I had hypothyroid symptoms as well. Like I was just cold. I was shivering. Okay. Lost my libido. Like I just I didn't really want. I, I was almost depressed, honestly. So did you get any? I, I, did you get any benefits from going to the meat and fruit version? I mean, was there any any? No, no, no. no benefits? This, okay. this got worse after okay. I did that. Okay. So all of this started, I was trying to do a preemptive, uh, this was off of a holistic cleanse that all of this actually started. What does that so mean? So if you know anything about standard process, they have a bunch of cleanses. Yeah, I, I, don't, um, I don't know. What is, tell, describe the holistic cleanse. It sounds suspect to me. But uh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, so it's a uh, standard process is a big brand. Um, it's basically... It, Unfortunately, the holistic medicine side of things is kind of taken a, a turn into the big pharma method where you have a symptom, you need to take a supplement. And then once you take that supplement, that, that's going to make it better. But I was probably on 10 different supplements at this time. I had done the cleanse for the full 21 days. And it was basically like you're plant-based for 10 days. Then you throw in lean meats. They want you to eat like chicken you're doing like these protein shakes along with like a hundred different supplements. Okay. So that really messed me up. So were you worse with, so this is the worst you were though, but this is even worse. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then I, then I tried to fix it with the meat fruit okay. and that made it even worse. Got it. So it okay. was just compounded on, on itself. Okay. How much fruit were you eating? I mean, what was, what was it looking like? Um, I would say I'd eat probably two apples a day, maybe like, three or four bananas. Okay, and sure. then I found out I was horribly allergic to bananas. I don't know. It, it was kind of a, it was a wake up call for me as far as supplementation and being careful, like what to supplement people on, Okay, because it's, it's very, uh, it's very implied in chiropractic school that you're supposed to supplement along with what you're doing in your care. But a lot of people have, they can have bad reactions to the supplements that you're giving them. 